Gary Belden has been immersed in hockey. He's done everything from working at the front desk to coaching. And 30 years ago, he gathered together a group of guys who continue to meet every week and shoot the puck around. Well, it, it goes back to around, I think, 1980, uh, around there, where we just started off really as an afternoon shinny group with a couple coaches and players. And we had so much fun with it that we went to the rink and, you know, made a presentation. On Thursday nights, Gary and his friends meet on the ice to have a little fun. No refs and no clock. We keep it, uh, we call it just open hockey. It's, uh, it keeps the tensions down. Uh, there's, you know, as soon as you put a scoreboard on and uh, referees on the ice, it becomes very, uh, uh, I don't know, it, it ups, the, uh, ups the level of play. And this way we keep it more social and we have fun. And I haven't gotten involved in a so-called men's league because, you know, some guys get overly competitive. This is um, nice and fun. Nobody gets, you know, overreacts. There's no fights out here. Everyone's out here just to get a good little exercise. And we usually go to a local, local watering hole afterward, uh, have some pizza, and have a couple sodas. So it, it's a good time. Over the past 30 years, the group has evolved. Players have come and gone. Friends have joined as well as friends of friends. But Belden says the group has remained steady at around 25 people each year. And recently, his son joined the ranks. I think personally, you know, my son uh, is skating with us now. And he just turned uh, 22 in, uh, in August. So he pretty much grew up with, with, you know, my hockey involvement. And at a very young age, he would be hanging out at the rink. Uh, he was our little team mascot. Uh, he would be, we called him the beer boy. He would hand out the beers after the game. And uh, so it's really... I had never really thought about it as he grew up, but uh, the last couple of years uh, with him away from school, you know, at school, I said it'd be nice to continue to play until he comes home and, and be able to play together. First time I ever skated here, all I wanted to do was go out for pizza. My dad told me uh, in order to get there, I had to come skate. So, uh, I mean, I've been playing it for seven, seven, eight years now. Um, I mean, and every time I come down here, it's something new, something fun and uh, hopefully I play better. But um, back in the old days, it was always, always a challenge trying to score on him, but um, eventually I started getting the better of him. Playing alongside Tim is Chappie LeBlonde. He joined the team a month ago and is the nephew of one of the founding members. I, I, I get an email from Gary to come in here, and uh, my uncles have skated here you know, 30 years ago, and, and, and it's kind of funny that like, this has been going on that long. I love the skate. It's, it's amazing. Unfortunately, I can't keep up with these old guys. They're skating me around the corner. It's ridiculous, but... Uh, you know, I really enjoy it. While Belden explained that the purpose of the club is to get exercise, the camaraderie has become just as important. It's a unique group in the fact that there's so many connections and, and stories, and you know, we've been doing it for so long that uh, you know, it's really, I look, that's the highlight of my week, is, and especially when I'm playing. If I have a good night, it sets the tone for the rest of the, uh, rest of the weekend. Every week, it's Gary's job to send an email to all the guys to see he'll be on the ice that Thursday. But he says the work is worth it for a night out. As the goalie, and, and this is my, you know, my night out, so to speak. And I, you know, if I didn't do it, it wouldn't get done and we, there wouldn't be a group. So I still enjoy playing and it's worth the effort I, you know, that, the minimal effort it takes for me to just organize it each year. In fact, I would say most, uh, most guys, are, they, they have jobs. Uh, we have a couple teachers that, that are also coaches. Uh, but for the most part, uh, you know, it's just regular guys that work during the day. Most of them have families, have commitments. They have kids that are playing hockey now. And uh, so it's, you know, it's a night out to uh, hang out with the boys. Currently, the group includes players from all skill levels, and they occasionally invite walk-on players to fill out their lines. They have the best, uh, the best group down here, the best skate down here. A lot of high-quality players, uh, John Corcoran, uh, guys who played on the and won the 35-over national tournament uh, quite a few years. So they have some accomplished players out there, played in AHL and high-level college. So that's a great skate. If you'd like to check out their game, Gary and the guys play at Terry Connors Skating Rink in Cove Island Park every Thursday night from 9.30 to 10.40. And it wouldn't hurt to brush up on some Midwest hockey teams beforehand. I was always a Blackhawk fan. 